good Tuesday morning to him, Eastern PA, Weather Authority, meteorologist Bobby Markich. This is your outlook for October 14th, 2014, and we're going to have a warm surge of air today that is going to be uh, moving across the area. Uh, not expecting uh, uh, very much in the way of sun today. Again, we'll call it mostly cloudy skies, and that's more clouds than sun, obviously. We'll see the sun, though, uh, in some areas here. But the first, we're going to be dealing with a warm front that's going to be moving through the area here this morning. Until then, you're going to have some uh, clouds and some uh, fog and drizzle hanging around. But once that uh, will, that will, should burn off mid to late morning for most areas uh, from southwest to northeast. And then we're going to have a surge of warmth that's going to push in. And actually, we have a, I'm drawing the arrow in the wrong direction here. It's actually a southeasterly wind that we're, we're going to be dealing with uh, today again. But uh, the surge of warmth is definitely going to be felt with uh, temperatures running somewhere around uh, 10 degrees above normal, in some cases even higher than that. Uh, we're talking about temperatures uh, generally in the mid to upper 70s across our entire coverage area, even up here in the northern areas, that the areas there were just experiencing the frost. And the freezes uh, a couple days ago are now going to be dealing with temperatures in the uh, at least in the middle 70s up here in the uh, northern sections across uh, you know from Scranton over to Williamsport. But uh, we'll keep an eye on the system or west here. This is a strong cold front in association with this area of low pressure here. This area of low pressure is going to head up in this direction here. It's going to take the uh, cold front with it. The cold front's going to be taking a sweet time moving through though. It's not going to be moving very quickly. Uh, most of the forcing is going to be further west and that's because this system is going to be hanging further west. They always are going to have the best forcing uh, and chance of severe weather would be closest to the area of low pressure. And since it's not getting too close to our, our coverage area here and the forcing is going to be coming in behind the system after the storms arrive, we're not expecting severe weather in our coverage area here on uh, later on Wednesday. We will monitor that situation though. Right now it's not looking like severe weather is a big deal. Uh, took a look at the soundings uh, for later Wednesday. Uh, when these uh, storms are expected to roll through. They are supportive of some uh, gusty winds, uh, maybe exceeding 40 miles per hour, but we're really not talking about severe weather, at least not a grand scale across our coverage area here. So we're going to take this a little forward in time here. Here's this system here. Again, this is Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening. The showers and thunderstorms are moving uh, moving with this system, but the best forcing are going to be is going to be west of our coverage area. So uh, by the time these uh, you know showers and storms move through here, uh, you're going to have uh, you know, the, the severe element will be taken away just because that forcing is further to the northwest. And then we're going to get to, uh, uh, this is actually overnight hours here, Wednesday night. And uh, this has this moving through and out of here by uh, Thursday morning. You'll know the piece of energy is going to rotate behind this system here. Uh, after the cold front moves through, of course, the cold front at this point is out here, but you have this piece of energy here that's a trailing piece of energy that's going to move in uh, Thursday night and very early Friday. So Friday we'll call it clouds uh, giving away to sun. Uh, and this leftover shower activity that's trailing behind it should move out of here and just be confined for the most part uh, just on uh, Thursday night. Uh, take a look at the NAM now. The NAM's pretty much in agreement with this here. And here's this. Uh, this is now looking at 10 a.m. on Wednesday. And you see how, how slow this is moving here. This is in three-hour increments here. Uh, some showers and thunderstorms moving in here by late afternoon. And then uh, here's the showers and thunderstorms moving across now New Jersey at that point and, and extreme eastern PA in the overnight hours here. Could be some uh, locally heavy rainfall with some of these storms here. But uh, yeah, again, really not looking at any you know severe weather until you get a little bit. You might get a little bit into that uh, further south here. Just be isolated down in this area here. But again, your best forcing is up in this area here. And uh, even though we have the temperatures that are on the warm side here, you're going to have some gusty winds uh, with it that will be a, a possibility. But then this is going to move through here and just bring out a chance for some uh, locally heavy rainfall, especially across New Jersey here. Here's a look at uh, early Thursday. We still have the showers hanging around here. And then you still have this upper level energy that's uh, trailing behind it here that is still going to have to rotate through, just like we are showing on the other model in the globals. It's not much, but it will move through and provide a few uh, showers and clouds uh, for Thursday night. And then clouds giving away to sun, we look, it's looking like on Friday. Uh, we are going to go a little bit further now and show you uh, as we go to get into Friday. Friday, everything's clearing out pretty nicely. Uh, same thing for Saturday. Uh, the European model is trying to put a little bit of shower activity here uh, across the area later in the day, just an isolated shower. It's been showing this for a couple cycles now, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. This is with the actual cold front coming through, the secondary cold front. And then what this is going to do is knock temperatures back down uh, to really chilly temperatures as we get in from Sunday onward. 
where temperatures will be in the 50s and maybe to near 60 at, at max temperatures here across our coverage area. So it will definitely cool down uh, once we get Sunday into early next week. One thing we're going to keep an eye on out here, you see this mess out here. This is actually... Uh, this is actually our hurricane that's sitting out here. We're going to go over to take a look at this now. This is actually, uh, the, this is the look at it. This is uh, Hurricane Gonzalo. And uh, it is right now near the uh, Lesser Antilles here, moving north of the island of Puerto Rico. The island of Puerto Rico is sitting right here. And uh, here's your Lesser Antilles Islands right here. So this is uh, moving off uh, to the Northwest right now at about 11 miles per hour. Winds are about 80 miles an hour. That is expected to rapidly intensify then as it moves to uh, the north. And it's eventually going to do one of these numbers and curve like this. And it's actually taking aim, uh, projected to take aim on uh, Bermuda, uh, which would be a very uh, dangerous situation for them there. If you're going to have any plans of going to Bermuda, this is probably not a good time, week to go. As it looks like Friday, they might get hit with a major hurricane at that time. So right now, it is a Category 1 hurricane. At the time this video is recorded, it could be a 2 as early as uh, during the day on Tuesday. And then we'll be watching it beyond that to get to a major hurricane, Category 3 or larger. Uh, but in the meantime, nothing's going to be affected in its path until we get to later in the weekend. Bermuda is then in, in its path. But here you can see uh, this is uh, this is the hurricane sitting right here. At this time, expected to be a major hurricane and making impacts on Bermuda, but will not affect the east coast of the United States. And that's in large part to uh, these these frontal boundaries here that are moving through here. You have a cold front moving through here that's going to pick it up and send it to the northeast here. We're not going to have to worry about any east coast impacts whatsoever. And then beyond this point, this is actually a look at uh, Saturday night here that, I'm, that we're looking at right now in this image here. Uh, Sunday looks okay, and then uh, so does uh, early next week, and we're not looking at any uh, large-scale systems coming in here. But again, one thing we're going to be dealing with is uh, the cooler temperatures rushing in here, and you're going to have a, a trough settling over the northeast that's going to allow temperatures to be stuck in the 50s. Uh, and a large part, and maybe uh, close to 60 as you get down towards the Philadelphia metro area as we get into early next week. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is your outlook for October 14th, 2014. Have a great Tuesday.